Right, question two. This is finding the de density um, of a metal ball bearing. Uh, Thomas uses digital calipers to measure the diameter. Um, and then he's going to have to calculate the volume. He uses um, a digital balance to find the mass. The other person measures the, volu the volume directly by putting it in water in a measuring cylinder. So he reads off the volume um, and he uses the balance to, to find the mass. Okay, so we're going to be calculating density, but more importantly, we're going to be working out uncertainties as well. First one then, calculate the volume. This is using Thomas's values. Um, so calculate the volume in centimetres cubed and calculate the percentage uncertainty. Um, that's what show that means. It means calculate it and get that, that answer. Right, so before we can calculate, um, before we do anything with the potential, uh, the percentage uncertainty, let's find the volume, right? Volume of a sphere is in the data booklet. Where's my data booklet? It's in the data booklet and it is, people seem to be really struggling with this. Um volume of a sphere, right? Four thirds pi r cubed. Right, so we've got diameter we've got diameter for starters, so we need to turn that into radius. So the diameter is eighteen point seven six millimeters. Um we want the radius in centimeters. So 18.76 divided by 2. That's the diameter in millimeters. And what are we going to do to turn that into centimeters? Simply divide by 10. So the radius is 0 0.938 centimeters. Now we can find the volume. 4 thirds pi times 0.938 cubed. Okay, put that in your calculator. Uh, 4 divided by 3 times shift pi times 0.938 to the power of 3 is 3.4569. So before we round this to an appropriate number, um, of significant figures let's look at the significant figures given in the question because this is important with these sorts of questions that the diameter has been given to four sig fig and the mass has been given to three right so if we go you know if you write all that down off your calculator that's nonsense because you can't say that this these numbers are correct because you've only been given that accuracy in the question so it'd be more appropriate to use three significant figures yeah, that's the least accurate of the data that you've got, right? So this rounds to 3.46 centimetres cubed. Now, percentage uncertainty. Um, to find the percentage uncertainty of volume, we need to find the percentage uncertainty for radius because that's, that's what contributes to the volume. Um, but we we also need to times it by three because it's cubed. So let's find the percentage uncertainty first of all. Percentage uncertainty for radius, um, which is this it's the same as the diameter. You know, you can half that and half that, but it's the same thing. So it's 0 0.02 divided by 18.76 times 100 to turn it into a percentage, and that is 0. 11%. However, as I said, the percentage uncertainty for volume is three times that. Okay, and if I continue with the number in my calculator, I get 0 0.32, which is approximately 0.3%. Okay. 
So that was 0 0.11 is a rounded value, but I used the answer in my calculator, which is why I've got 0 0.32 there. Right, this bit then. Now calculate the density along with the absolute uncertainty. So density equals mass in here also. Mass divided by volume. So mass is 26.3 and the volume is 3.46. Okay, so 26.3 divided by 3.46 is hang on 26.3 divided by 3.46 is 7.6 grams per centimeter cube does that look about look over here yeah we're in the right um ballpark aren't we okay and what's the absolute uncertainty so before we can work out the absolute uncertainty, we have to work at the percentage uncertainty. You combine, you work at the percentage uncertainties and then you combine those. So percentage uncertainty for mass and we need the percentage uncertainty for volume. So for mass, it is 0 0.5 divided by 26.3 times 100 and that comes out at 1.9 percent and for volume we've already done this haven't we that was and use the more accurate value you know if you haven't done it or you got it wrong um, use the approximate value from the question but it's better to use your value the senior calculator ideally so the uncertainty for the percentage uncertainty for the density is made up of the percentage uncertainties for these. So we add those two up. All right, and that gives us percentage uncertainty of 2.22%. But we need the absolute uncertainty. We need to know exactly how out, in how many grams per centimeter cubed is that out. So what is 2.22%? is 7.6 well that actually gives you a value of 0 0.17 all right that's the absolute uncertainty now this is how you write it density equals 7.6 plus or minus 0 0.17 grams per centimeter cubed okay that's your answer Right, okay, um, over on the other side, then part B. Jerry believes that since he's measuring volume directly, the absolute uncertainty in his value will be less than that found by Thomas. Determine whether or not he is correct. So, Jerry... Well, Jerry's density percentage uncertainty is going to be made up of his volume percentage uncertainty plus his mass. His mass is the same. What's Jerry's um, percentage uncertainty for volume? Well, he measured it directly, didn't he? Let's have a look. Yeah, so his is uh, 0.1 divided by 3.4 times 100. 0.1 divided by 3.4 times 100. And that is 2.9%. What did Thomas get for his percentage uncertainty of volume? His was 0.3. Yeah. which is more than Thomas's 0.3%. So Jerry is wrong, okay? And it might be worth noting here that um, Jerry and Thomas's 
percentage uncertainty for mass is the same. So ultimately that means this percentage uncertainty for density is going to be more. Okay, right, now we need to work out what metal the ball bearing is actually made from. All right? Um, and explain, so Thomas and Jerry use this information to determine the metal from which the ball bearing is made. Explain how Thomas's conclusion differs from Jerry's. Okay, so for Thomas, Thomas... Pick Thomas's values down here. Um, Thomas's range is 7.6 minus 0.17, which is 7.43, all the way up to 7.6 plus. 0.17 which is 7.77 7.6 plus 0.17 oh, I put that in wrong 7.6 plus 0.17 no 7.77 so look at Thomas um, Thomas's values could mm, uh, well, it won't be tin. It could be stainless steel. It won't be. So Thomas says stainless steel. Jerry. Now let's look at what Jerry's is going to be. Now Jerry's percentage uncertainty is his 2.9. Plus the percentage uncertainty for mass, which was, we've worked this out, percentage uncertainty for mass, which is 1.9. So, three point eight, sorry, 4.8%. What's Jerry's value for density? Jerry's density is uh, 26.3 over 3.4, which is 26.3 divided by 3.4. So he's got 7.7. .7. Seven three five. Let's leave that additional decimal place for the minute. But it's plus or minus four point eight percent. So what's four point eight percent of that? That is times four point eight divided by a hundred. So his value is no plus or minus zero point three seven seven point seven three five plus or minus 0.37 so Jerry could be 7.735 minus 0.37 so it could be as low as 73 Let's call that 7.37 all the way up to 7.735 plus 0.37, which is 8.1. So if Jerry's range of values is 7.37, it's not going to be tin. It could be stainless steel. It could be iron. So Jerry stainless steel or iron let's just check um, explain how Thomas's conclusion differs from Jerry's so Thomas is saying it's stainless steel um, 
Jerry is saying it could be one of two 